This conference will now be recorded. Yeah, in today's session, we're going to discuss about operator overloading. Operator overloading. For example, if I want to add two integers, I'll use plus operator to add those two numbers. If I add the, if I use the plus operator for strings, it's going to merge the two list. It's going to merge the two list. If I use the plus operator for int class, it's going to add the two numbers. If I use the same plus operator for string, it's going to merge the two list. Now, it is achievable because of the plus operator is overloaded by in class and string class the same operator is providing different functionalities for in class is uh, doing addition for uh, string class it's doing the concatenation or you can say it's merging the two list or you can say for uh, if you take two list it's going to merge the two list if uh, apply plus operator for string it's going to concatenate concatenate those two strings Okay, now you can see that one single operator is uh, providing different functionalities. Depends upon the classes. It can be in class, it's going to do addition. It's going to st uh, string class, it's going to do concatenation. If it is a list, it's going to merge the list. Okay, now uh, you might be noticed like uh, in previous examples, you might noticed the same built-in operator shows different behavior shows different behavior it's performing addition it's uh doing for uh, it's merging for list as well as doing concatenation for strings if any operator if any operator or functions shows different behavior for different classes or it can say different objects we can say that is a operator overloading i hope you understood the same operator is providing different behavior for different objects if it's string object is going to do concatenation if it is a list object it's going to going to merge the two list if you take a dictionary it's going to merge those two dictionaries okay if it is an addition it's going to do the addition operation if any built-in operator or any function uh, shows different behavior for objects or for different classes i can say for objects or different classes it's called operator overloading now i going to show some examples uh, before going to the operator overloading i going to uh, show some basic examples i going to have one class in operators uh, what i going to do there is one directory called operators in that operators i going to create one py file i going to have like operator overloading operator overloading Okay, just remind two other tabs. Uh, now, after this example, we're going to see what is magic functions and dundan functions. We're going to see. You know, the plus object is going to add the numbers because uh, the this one is belongs to int and two is also belongs to int are going to perform addition now i'm going to take uh, one string java and then i'm going to use the plus now what it's going to do it's going to do the concatenation see the same operator is doing different functionalities sorry they show you some different behavior and then going to show another example example i can see how are taking the going to multiply the two uh, int objects now the output will be 4 into 3 will be 12 right now same thing i going to apply for string java into 3 
what will happen? The string, Java string and multiplied by 3. What is going to happen? It is going to print 3 okay. times of Java. Concatenate. I am asking about Java into 3. It is going to print 3 times Java. Java, Java, Java. Like that is going to print. Okay. See, the uh, I am taking some multiplication. Okay. For integers, it is multiplying. For string, it is repeating the string 3 times. Okay. Okay, if the operator shows different functionality for different class or different object, then it then we can say it's operator overloading. These are some examples. Now I am going to say how to overload an operator. How to overload an operator? You're going to see. Uh, you'll do one thing. Have one more class. Just copy and paste. Copy and then paste. Overloading underscore one. See, okay. Remove all this. Okay. Now I'm going to have two objects. Okay. Um, I'm going to, to have two objects. Uh, both are going to be a int object for your specific class. For your specific class. First, I'm going to use some binary operator. Binary operator means plus operator I'm going to use. And then uh, with the help of magic functions. And then we can say magic function or dundan function. Dundan means, yeah, I can write over here. We can say magic functions or dundan. Okay, dundan means double iPhone will get. Which are method you getting a prefix and suffix as double hyphen? That method is called magic functions, or you can say it's redundant functions. I'm going to show now. Dudn. Dundant means in prefix and suffix you have to get hyphens. That is called redundant functions, or you can say it's magic functions. Yeah. Now, for example, before that, I want to show this a uh, few examples for you. Class functions. If you are using some class in the class, you can have variables, you can have functions, right? The function, which are function having prefix and suffix as double underscore, we can say that method is called dundan methods or magic functions. Dundan functions, or you can say it's a magic function. Okay. Uh, these are the built in methods provided by the Python itself. If you want to overload this method, you can use a method and then you can achieve different functionalities. What are functionalities required? What are functions looking for? You can you call this method and then you can change the functionality of that particular method. For example, if I want to add 10 numbers, what I can do? I can call the underscore underscore add and then I can add 10 numbers instantly. Okay, these are all called the magic function or dundan. You can see prefix and suffix are double hyphen, you are having double hyphens. That's why you can say it's magic methods. And then um, I already said to you, class function begin with double underscore or called special functions in Python. Okay, that's what we are saying, it's magic functions. And then uh, the Python interpreter, what will do? Whenever you're doing some addition operator, whenever you're using the plus operator, whenever you're using a one plus two, it's going to call this method, the magic methods. In the magic methods, what are functionality or uh, you can write your own logic and then you can implement those methods. Now, uh, I will take an example for this. Yeah. I'm going to have one class. The class name I'm going to keep somewhat like uh, point. Okay, I already said to you the class whenever you are creating object for a particular class, the constructor will be called. If you are not explicitly putting the constructor, the Python interprets if it, it will call the constructor and then it will create your object for a particular class. Once you are saying it's object, the memory will be allocated for a particular class. Now I am going to 
it is the the explicit concept are underscore underscore we need this function uh, called the dundon function or can say magic function which are seeing underscore right this is a suffix now i am going to have uh, two more variables sorry parameters a and b and then self dot a equal to a self dot b equal to b otherwise you can do one thing i can i can have only one parameter as of now okay whenever i creating object for this particular variable for this particular variable the memory will be allocated okay once object is created for this variable memory will be allocated now i going to have one uh, magic functions what magic function i going to use i going to use a add magic function add in that i have to pass only one argument because i want to add a plus b is add the magic function now what i going to do see is when you use the return keyword i going to have this variable self dot a just copy as it is because when one whenever the object object gets created the memory will be allocated for this variable see self is nothing but it referring the current class instance okay self dot a and then i going to use the binary operator and then the other parameter will be b right other parameter will be b self dot other now what i going to do i going to add the two numbers i going to add the two numbers before i add the two numbers i want to create a object i want to create a object how to create object for this class how to create object for a point class for example i want to create object for a particular class how to create object Sim simply you can create you have to use some variable the class instance i going to have some m and then you have to use a class name and then you have to put the two brackets okay this is how you can create your object This is how you can create object for the point class. Create your object for the point class. The class instance will be yum. Class instance. The class instance will be my pointer actually. Okay, for this object, the pointer will be yum. The class instance will be yum. And then. uh what i going to do uh what i going to do like uh, i going to add two numbers i going to add two numbers uh i can have like this see when you are creating a object what you have to do this will call the constructor this will call the constructor in constructor uh, what parameter you have to pass i want to pass the a value when you are creating object now i going to pass 2 now this method object wrapping the class instance as well as parameter the class instance self will be m substitute the m value over here this this uh, i can say this function object This function, right? This function object is going to wrap the two things. Wrapping means it is going to wrap the two things. One is yum. Instead of self, you have self, you have to place yum. That is something by yum is something by class instance. And then y will be two. Y will be two. Now what I going to do? I going to add the two numbers. Yum dot yum plus can do like this wait m plus m what a minute
m dot underscore underscore add in had how many parameters I want to pass in add how many parameters I want to pass I'm asking how many parameters I want to pass two parameters what's the need of two parameters self is nothing but the class instance no one need to pass parameter for self you want to pass only for other you want to pass only you can pass some three now what is going to happen this self dot a value will be two right substitute the two over here and then plus and then i am passing three in the other self dot other will be three two plus three will be Why oh, are you getting other? Uh, hold a minute. Why oh, you getting self other uh, point object as not attribute? Okay, point object as no attribute, self dot other. Where are I making mistakes? Okay, 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 okay. Very blunder mistake over here. Yeah, I made a mistake over here. Now I'm going to create two objects. Another object. Use a class name and then pass some value. I have created two objects. For the first object, the class instance will be M. For another object, the class instance will be N. Now I'm going to add the two objects. I'm going to add the two objects. How to add the two objects? M plus yeah. N. Now the m value will be just pass the m value into yourself. M dot a the value will be two. Will be two. This plus symbol is going to call the magic function. What the magic function is? It's internally going to invoke the magic function add method. In the add method, what I used right next I used n. N is the another object n is another object okay the value will be 3 now the other value will be 3 now 2 plus 3 will be 5 why are you getting this self or other what's a mistake i made sure self dot other hold a minute i made a blend mistake over here I have to use other dot a. Okay. Just give me other dot a. Okay. Now, first take the m. Okay. m is a class instance. In the m class instance, it's going to create, it's going to call the constructor. And then, instead of self, you put the values m. Now, m dot, sorry, m dot a value will be assigned as m is nothing but class instance and then the a value will be 2 i can write here m dot m is nothing but class instance and then for the variable the a value will be 2 and then the plus symbol symbol is nothing but a magic function it is going to call the function internally and then now what i have to do i use the value as 3 over here the value is 3 right now this point function it's going to call the one more time constructor now the a value will be 3 a value will be 3 now i going to make another comment line what is the class instance the class instance will be 
n n dot a equal to 3 for this object the class instance will be n substitute n instead of self now n dot a equal to 3 now this magic function what is having right it's going to have the self dot a and other dot a the self dot a will be self dot a in the sense variable name is 2 variable is 2 now i have one more object n dot a this will be treated as other dot a the other dot a will be, will be 2 3 sorry 3 2 plus 3 will be finally we'll get the results as 5 if you have some doubts you can try to resolve your doubts what a first you create an object it's going to call the constructor you have to pass only one argument let's pass the value 2 and then now instead of self pass a class instance m dot a value will be 2 now create a one more object n equal to 0.3 now the class instance will be for this object this is a pointer actually n is a class instance just pass n over here n and then a value will be 3 okay in this functional object it's wrapped the class instance as well as parameter now n dot a value will be 3 okay now after that 17th line i going to add the two objects this is a one object this is another object i going to add the two objects if i adding the two objects what i have to do i have to use the binary operator plus symbol now i going to add m plus n what will m will do the m dot a will be 2 substitute over here plus now now you are using n right now substitute the n value over here because again we have to initialize the memory now n dot a value will be 3 okay now this one object variable this is another object variable this is a one object variable Okay, this is the other object variable. Okay, that's why in self, what I did, right? Self dot a. Self dot a means I'm going to get m dot a value is 2 over here. Plus, the other value what I have. I'm going to call this instead of n, I'm going to use other. Instead of n, I'm going to use other. That's why other dot a equal to 3. Do one thing. Instead of n, I going to replace. What I going to replace? What I going to replace? Instead of n, other dot a. That's it. Now the value will be three. That's why I adding two plus three equal to five. This is how. Sorry, uh, I want to comment right. Uh, the line number will be twenty one. That is twenty one. Comment this lines. This is how you want to do the operator overloading. Okay. Now I'm going to show one more example. What's my class name? What's my class name? Class name is point. I can call like this as well. Dot I can use the magic functions. I can use the magic functions. In the magic functions, you can pass two objects. What you can do? M and N. Just print value. What will I going to get? I'm going to get 2 plus 3 will be five okay the simplest uh, n will be five and then you can use a class name as well previous class we have discussed using class name also we can able to call class name dot directly you can call the magic functions point dot underscore add in that you can pass like two objects you can pass you can pass two objects fine 
now we are going to see the various operators okay now i am going to add some complex data type uh, what i can do i am going to copy and then paste just to make the pi file name as 2 okay uh, what you can do you can remove all these things the class name i'm going to keep it as i'm going to add a complex variable complex complex means what you can say 1 plus 2j real numbers and then complex value right like this i'm going to add now for this complex class what is the first thing i want to create i want to initialize the constructor i want to initialize the constructor if use the magic functions in it and then i want to pass two arguments right i want to pass one real number and then complex number i want to pass i want to pass on two parameters the parameters will be a and b and then use a class instance to assign a variable self dot a equal to a and then self dot b equal to b now i'm going to add uh, two complex numbers okay for that I, again i'm going to use one magic function or dundon functions for adding what i which call magic function i want to use add add we have to use and then same thing for like uh, what I did, right? Self dot. Uh, sorry, I have to use uh, if I are using some method. What I have to do? I have to use certain keyword. Other, if you are not using certain keyword, it will give the none as the output. Now, self dot a plus plus like uh, I'm going to have like other dot a the dot a and then comma self dot b plus other dot b few minute after giving the inputs you will know how it's performing first i want to create an object for this class how to create an object i want to create an object for this class how to create an object first give some class instance equal to use the class name to create an object yeah this way you have to create an object but before creating an object let's see the constructor in the constructor how many arguments are to pass i have to pass only two parameters sorry two parameters i have to pass okay while creating any object just see the constructor see how many parameters you have to pass just pass the parameters i'm going to pass one comma two and then i'm going to create one more object uh, the class instance will be object two equal to Again, have the same class name. I'm going to have a value is 3, a value is 3, b value is 4 for this object. Now, I am going to add the two objects. How to add the two objects? How to add the two objects? Just use the plus symbol. Object 3 equal to object 1 plus object 2 and then print the object 3 what output you got 
1 plus 3, 4. 2 plus 4, 6. I got the output as 4, 6. Because first to what you have to consider, first I want to create an object in the, you know, it will call the init constructor. And then the constructor are going to pass two values. A value is 1. Uh, self means you have to substitute the object 1. Object 1 dot A value will be and write like this. So self you can substitute object 1 dot A value is 1. And then you can do some comma. And then substitute the B value here. And then self dot B. Self dot mean, B means object 1 dot B equal to B equal to Okay, as well as same thing you have to create for your next object. Now, I, I have created another object, object 2, this is a class instance. Now, pass the value. Now, the value will be 3. Here will be 3. Object 2 dot a equal to 3. Like this and then, and then the b value will be going, now going to be 4. Instead of self, you have to substitute object 2 here. Now, object 2 dot b equal to object 2 dot b equal to 4. You have all those values now. Now, what I going to do, right? Self dot a. Self dot a means I going to add object 1 dot a. That is going nothing to self dot a. Okay. Instead of self only, I substituted object 1 self dot a plus other dot a other means i want to convert this object into other if i convert object into other other dot a will be 3 now 1 plus 3 will be 1 plus 3 will be i getting 4 same same thing instead of self i substitute object 1 dot b have the object 1 dot b value what's the value 2 plus Object 2 value has to change to other because I given another argument other change to other dot b equal to 4. Now 2 plus 4 will be 6. Now see uh, using this plus operator I have achieved see sorry I can say this plus operator using this plus operator I can be able to add the two objects I can be able to achieve some different functionalities. I can able to add two numbers. I can able to add two complex numbers. I can able to concatenate uh, two strings. I can able to merge two lists. All things I can able to achieve is the simple uh, single operator. Single operator having some different functionalities. That is nothing but the operator overloading. Using one operator, you can achieve some different functionalities. Okay. If you are get confused. I think in very pleasant mind, uh, you, you are get confused. What are you going to do? I'm going to have one notepad. I'm going to have all these values. Now, instead of object one, what are you going to do? Self dot yay. Afterwards, you convert into object 1 dot a equal to 1 because for this object, the class instance is obg1 instead of self by substituting a equal to 1. Now, self dot b will convert into object 1 dot b because I substituted 2 as a value. Okay, uh, instead of self, we have to substitute obg1 dot b equal to 2. Now, second object I read it as a value is 3, b value is 4. Now, I can go ahead and substitute self dot a convert into object 2 dot a equal to 3 and then here what I can do self dot b what is self here object 2 object 2 dot b equal to the b value will be 4. Now look at the magic functions. Now from here can you say self dot a value? Self dot a value is 1. 1. And then in the magic function, I use other. 
okay what you have to do you have to convert this object to in terms of other now i'm going to write look at here this object to what to what i'm going to do other dot a equal to 3 now here other dot a i used because r going to pass in other dot a right now other dot a will be 3 1 plus 3 equal to 4 okay that's why you're getting the of this 4 now go for the self dot b what self dot b value 2 you can see self dot b value is converted to object dot 1 dot b and the value will be 2 and then other dot b value will be other dot b value is there right other dot b value i want to convert the object dot 2 b into other dot b now the value will be 4 2 plus 4 will be 6 this is how it happening internally. This is how you can use this plus operator for different functionalities, addition, subtraction. Sorry, uh, you can use for uh, concatenating the two strings as well as uh, to merge the two lists, to merge the two dictionaries, as well as uh, you can add a complex numbers. You can add able to add two objects. Everything can do. Everything we can do. You might have a question. What the question is? I will take one more uh, file. Now, I have what class? How to create construct, constructor? How to initialize constructor? Sorry, how to initialize constructor? How to use the magic functions? As well as, I'm going to pass uh, two values A and B. And then uh, self dot a equal to a self dot b equal to b. How to create object for this class? How to say how to create your object for this particular class? What's the class name? What's the class name actually. Class name is. Yeah. First, what you have to mention? You have to mention the class instance. That's something to point it actually. Okay, I'm going to make it X. It's going to be a class instance. Let's create an object. Uh, while creating object, how many parameters I have to pass? Two parameters. Two parameters. You don't consider self keyword. Okay, don't consider self keyword. You have to pass two parameters. I'm going to pass uh, two comma three. Now I'm going to create one more object. First, what, what do you want to mention? For creating another object. Class instance. And then create another object. What all five? Now can we able to add uh, two objects now? Can we able to add two objects? That's why. I'm asking you. Can we able to add two objects x plus y? Yes. Why are you saying yes? These are the results. I'm asking about this result. You can't able to add the two objects because this plus operator will look for a magic function. Here, any magic function is there? That's operator internally called the magic function. Whether you have the magic function for add, you don't have any magic function. That's why it's throwing unsupported operand type for plus. Unsupported operand because I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. This plus operator oh, you didn't internally searching for the magic function. I don't have any magic function or dundan function over here. Okay, that's why throwing the type error, unsupported operand. This operand plus operand is not supported. This plus operand is not supported. Whenever you are doing some addition for the objects, I'm saying addition for only objects, not for numbers, okay? You have to call the magic functions. 
example uh i have one question i'm going to subtract the two numbers x minus y what magic question i have to use sub magic question i have to use for multiplication m u l magic question i have to use for division division mod for flooring floor see these are the various magic functions for each operators i can show over here you can see right for addition the magic operator i have to use add subtraction i have to use underscore underscore sub and underscore underscore multiplication i have to use mul for power magic function i have to use pow for division i have to use true division for floor division this true uh, division will give floating values when you did some numbers you get some floating values floor division is going to not going to give you any floating values it is going to give only the quotient okay for modulo you have to use mod magic functions left shift right shift and or xr invert and then for overloading comparison operators what are you going to use you can see less than greater than equal not equals greater than greater than or equal to less than means lt less than or equal to means le if you see some underscore anywhere that is going to be a dundan function or magic functions when you call some operator it see when you call this operator it's internally going to call this magic function i think ho i hope you understood now okay now that's why i'm saying here now i'm going to do some, some subtraction what i have magic operation i have to use magic function i have to use in that you can define everything i can use some written keyword and then what i can do i can copy the self dot a i going to subtract a minus b right and then you can do minus other dot i want to replace okay other dot a i going to come uh, subtract this 2 minus 4 2 minus 4 and then comma self dot b minus other dot b other dot b okay okay fine now what you can do you can subtract the two objects now i getting minus 2 minus 2 because i putting 2 minus 4 2 minus 4 will be minus 2 3 minus 5 will be minus 2. Okay, that's why getting minus 2 minus 2 because I am um, subtracting lowest number, highest number. That's why getting minus minus. This minus operator is internally going to call the internally call is going to call the magic functions. Okay, now I am going to show uh, two more examples for greater than and less than. Okay. now i am going to have one more example you going to answer for this copy and then just paste i going to make i going to remove all these things now the class i going to make it a somewhat b and you have to answer no First, I want to initialize a constructor. How will you initialize a constructor? I want to initialize a constructor. Yes. Def def stands for define. Say define. Define. See, I'll give one hint to you. I going to have two objects. I going to compare two values. I going to compare. Two values. Okay, I going to check greater than. Greater than means uh, like this. GT I would magic function I would use GT. Or greater than magic function will be I can show over here. Greater than means I have to use underscore underscore GT I have to use. Greater than equal to means I have to use GE. 
not equal to means NAIT is I going to use is greater than. Now uh, I going to compare uh, two objects. One object I going to have two. Another object I going to have three. Okay. Can you initialize a constructor for this class B? How to initialize constructor? Def. Give it a try. Def. In it. I'm not getting your words. In it. How many arguments I pass? Self. Yeah, I got self over here. How many para sorry, how many parameters I want to pass? Don't say arguments, this is para parameters. In one of them are going to have two, two. another one is going to have no need to pass two parameters. I am already saying in one of them are going to have two, another one is going to have three. Just pass only okay, one. one parameter. Okay, and then assign the value for the variable. Uh, self is nothing but the referring the current class instance. When you are creating an object, we have class instance. That self is nothing but calling the current class instance. Self dot a equal to a. That's it. Now uh, I want to create object for this class. How to create? Class instance, right? You can give some name. I'm going to have some object one equal to now oh, class instance equal to a. Why I want to mention a? When you're creating class. object, you should use a class name. The class name is this D. Okay. Yeah. And then how many parameters you have to pass? One parameter. One parameter. Just take the two. Two and put it over here. See, whenever creating object, okay, this D is going to construct or is going to call this magic function, and then the two value will be assigned to this class instance. It will be stored in memory. Now I'm going to create one more object. I'm going to have class instance equal to P of P. Now I want to use comparison operator greater than operator now what magic function i would use i going to check two greater than three it and an operator can say it can say dundon operator or magic functions greater than gt oh uh, yeah i can see greater than as uh, uh, g means greater than equal to we have so many magic functions okay now what logic i have to write when you're writing some method, definitely you should have written keyword. If you are written using written keyword, it will give the output as none. Now, what logic will write? I will do one thing. Uh, first, I will write some conditions. I'm going to come back two numbers. I'm going to check greater than or equal to. Greater, sorry, greater than. Uh, I'm going to check. If you're doing some condition check, what condition will you use? Definitely you're going to use if condition, right? You're going to use if condition. Right one if condition. In if condition, what logic you can write? Self dot A. I have to use a comparison operator greater than and then simple. Other dot. Other dot. Other dot A. A. If the condition is get satisfied, what I going to do? I going to return true. Okay. In case if the condition is not satisfied, what I have to return? False. Okay. This is how you can compare the two objects. Now it's very simple. How to compare? Uh, you can write like this one uh, again. You can write one if condition. You can uh, able to compare the two objects. Now I'm going to write uh, one if condition. I'm going to compare objects now. Object one greater than object two. If it is greater than, if object one greater than object two, I'm going to use one print statement. I can write like this. Object one is. Greater than 
object to else else print i can do i want to make it as object to is greater than object 1 now you what i going to do uh, first what will happen uh, i created object this uh, constructor is going to call this uh, magic function now the a value is assigned as uh, 2 you can write like this self dot a equal to self dot a equal to equal to 2 you can change like this that's what i can do into self i can pass object 1 dot a equal to 2 because object nothing but class instance you have to substitute the self keyword okay now another one is object 2 object 2 what is going to happen again it's going to assign it's going to assign self dot a uh, now i using object to write object 2 dot a equal to a equal to what's the value 3 now if you are first to what in condition you're calling this object and then if you are using greater than symbol it's going to call this magic function okay it's going to come to the magic function yeah it's going to implicitly call a magic function and then you're going to check self dot a value is 2 self dot value is 2 and then greater than okay greater than i write other other dot a what you have to do you are passing one more object right you have to convert this object 2 dot a into into other dot a because in argument i'm passing other right again object will be i am converting object 2 dot a into other dot a now what's the other dot a value 3 now 2 greater than 3 okay now it's going to print object 2 is greater than object 1 this is how you want to achieve the operator overloading see i have used only one example okay greater than if you want to use for less than you have to use lt less than or equal to le have to use less than or equal to okay le means less than or equal to this is the expression actually in if condition you have to put this expression p1 less than or equal to p2 like this you have to put some expression these are the various magic functions for comparisons plus if you want to do some arithmetic operations addition subtraction multiplication power true division floor division modulo left shift right shift and or xor invert you can use this magic functions whenever you call this plus operator it's internally will going to call this magic function and going to perform all kind of operations in this magic function you can write your own functionality whatever logic can write you can write okay now i have the last example i'm going to show last example what we can do we have so much uh, functions we have right i have shown greater than i have shown to you okay can we uh, write a method for equal to the same example itself can we write for equal to yeah how to write def or equal to which magic function I have to call iphone iphone eq equals again example I am going to compare two objects are same okay now how will write the logic equals means equals means you have to use this operator I guess yeah see this is equal to I will write the logic over here. Same if condition. Same if condition. And then self dot a double equal to other dot a. That's it. Okay, and then you can write some uh, written keyword or you can write some print statement, anything you can write over here. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to return as a string now. I'm going to return true or false. I'm going to return string. 
um, what I can do. Uh, both are equal. And then in case else. Then what I can do return not equal. Okay, if you if you want to mention the type, you can mention like this. Now the data type is string because returning the string only, right? That's why using arrow tokens, I mentioned the data type over here, string. Now I am going to call this method. Just copy as it is. Now you are going to see what operator I have to use. For checking equal condition for checking equal condition what operator i have to use checking the equal condition what operator i have to use i have to use double equal to that's it so better than make it double equal to that's it okay now you can change the message as per your convenient both objects are both object or same. What I mentioned the message over here, both are the same, right? Both are equal, not equal. Both are both are equal. Both objects are not equal. That's it. Both objects are not equal. That's it. What are you getting? Both objects are equal. Wait. Oh, it's coming. Both objects are equal. Both objects are equal. How is getting both objects are equal? Mm -hmm. Great. It's getting both of okay. It's getting both objects are equal two two. Okay, I'll make it three three. Let's see. Hmm? Now we're getting both objects are in equal. It's coming like both objects are equal. What the, I made a mistake. If I give same thing also showing both objects are equal. Okay. Cut only. I'll make five. Okay, object one, object two, right? Object one, object two. E of three, self dot a equal to other dot a, both are equal. Okay, uh, what I can do? Wait. The objects are equal. Given some different values. Uh, 
ओके This conference will now be recorded. Yeah, what you can do, just you can compare, have one print statement. In the print statement, just compare the values for object one, double equal to object two, it's going to print not equal because the value is three, another value is five. If you try to give, same values then we'll get then we'll get both are equal this is how you can use greater than and then you can use less than you can use and then now uh last function you're going to see that is nothing but a invert that is nothing but your invert operator we're going to see okay mostly we'll use the invert operator only in binaries invert operator only in the binaries if i give one invert of this output will be zero if i give zero the input the invert will be one now what i'm going to do i want to apply the magic function for the invert how to apply same as itself you can apply the magic function for invert just have one magic function for invert you have to use magic function of invert why well, you can apply only for the binary numbers okay just give the underscore underscore invert and then just have one return keyword Just have some message. I can mention like uh, this is invert operator for overloading of call this uh, overloaded as binary operator. Overloaded as binary operator okay now i'm going to call this invert stuffs what to call print statement and then use the invert symbol have the object one that's it it's going to print this is the invert operator what does binary operator Okay, mostly you can use this invert symbol for only binary numbers. You can, can't apply for int values. That's what I'm printing over here. Yeah, this is how you can able to overload the various operators. And then we're going to see the advantages. See, uh, most is operator overloading uh, used for code readability code readability if someone used plus operator over here plus operator greater than operator over here you can see those magic methods in the magic methods you can do several implementations as per your requirements and write your own functionality that's why i'm saying improving the code readability if you want to uh, you want to implement the addition operation you can go for the magic method of add if you want to if you want to use greater than symbol in the magic function you can implement your own logic okay that's why you're saying improving the code readability by allowing the use of familiar operators and then you might have a question can i able to overload a method yeah you can able to overload method that is concept will be separate concept that is called method overloading method name will be same Return type also will be same. The argument will be different. That is nothing but your method overloading. You can do the method overloading. As of now, you're going to see only the operator overloading. And then 
second point is um, you ensure that the object of class being behave consistently with built-in data, data types and other user-defined data types. If you have any other user-defined uh, class types, you can use this operator overloading as well as for built-in types also, you can use the operator overloading. Third point is you make it simpler to write the code as well as for complex data types. I already shown you some example for complex data types. You can write the code very simpler as well as for the complex data types. And the fourth one is you can reuse the code. If you write some magic function, you can reuse that code anywhere in your scripts. That's why allows for the code reused by implementing one method, one operator method, and using for another operators. And then these are the advantages of operator overloading. So going to sign off the session.